It has a good swap. Not a good, like, you know, but a good swap. It's okay. Not bad. Not a bad corking either. You want to sniff my cork? Okay. That's enough of that. Welcome to What We Drinkin'. I'm so glad you guys are here. If you're just joining us, my name is Wheezy C. Tonight, we are going to be making a drink called El Diablo. Not really sure why it's called El Diablo. I think it's just, uh, you know, because there's tequila and it's red. Um, really, really good drink. The original recipe comes from a website called The Spruce Eats. We are live. I have chat over here. I'm going to be trying to keep up with you guys. It is going to require tequila. I'm using Reposado tequila. Um, I'm going with Luna Zul. I used this for our margarita episode a while back. I used this brand um, and it was really, really good. So I thought I'd try it tonight too. The creme de cassis that we're using, which is a black currant liqueur, um, is from Jahoy. Jahoy. Ja Jahiat. Jahiat. Jahoy. Sound like doodle bob. <laughs> I'm not really sure how to say that, but uh, Creme de Cassis is a black currant liqueur. I think there's a bunch of different brands out there, whatever you can find. This drink is also going to require some ginger beer. We're going to put that on the very top and some lime juice. And then I actually have some candy ginger here for our garnish as well. So, all right. So equipment wise, you're going to need a shaking tin. I probably don't need this big Boston shaker, but I just, I like these more than I like the cobblers. You could also do this in just anything that you have that has a lid. <laughs> you can shake this drink up. Um, cocktail shakers work best though. You're gonna need a strainer for your shaker. We're gonna use a Collins glass for this drink. You need a jigger. The recipe can be found in chat if you're watching live. If you're watching this on YouTube later, the recipe will be down below. Why is it called a Collins glass? I don't know. I wonder if it has something to do with like the Tom Collins drink or something. Like they served it. I, they're also called highballs. So I'm thinking if you, I think in like the term Collins glass, just guessing. I don't know this. Is, I would, I would guess that maybe it was from the Tom Collins drink. Cause that's what these are. That's what that's served in. Um, but they're also called highballs. So there's, there's that little bit of knowledge. <laughs> um, the original recipe only calls for an ounce and a half of tequila. I like this with two ounces because I like the taste of alcohol. If you guys do too, I I would go a little heavy on the on the pour on that. Let's get to uh, let's get to making this drink, shall we? The El Diablo. I don't know how to say it. Like I don't know how to fucking say it. The the devil. Uh, the El Diablo. That's what we're gonna call it. It's the El Diablo. So, we love a good swap corking and spicy ginger hump. I do too. All right, guys, let's do, I'm gonna use my big tin to build this in. <laughs> I'm gonna go with two ounces of Reposado tequila. I suggest you use whatever tequila that you like the most. Um, I probably wouldn't go too expensive. We're adding a bunch of ginger beer to this, so a lot of like your like the finer notes of a good tequila are gonna be lost. Um, but hey, you do you. If you was a bougie bitch, be bougie bitch. I'm going to do. If I can get this lid off. Um, an ounce of creme de cassis. If we can get this bitch out of here. Uh oh. This is gonna go well. I can already feel it. Oh shit. <laughs> Uh-oh! Uh <laughs> oh, thank God, thank God. I thought for sure that thing was gonna break into like a million pieces. Oh, okay. <laughs> If you guys are watching this on YouTube right now, I think this would be an excellent time, okay, for you to hit the like button. Um, maybe comment down below how uh, great I pulled that cork out of there. 
after it was almost lost forever. Hmm? And uh, maybe you hit the subscribe button too. That would be cool. That would be really cool. Okay, maybe you do that. Thanks. Now that we got our cork out of here, we're going to need an ounce of creme de cassis. We'll go like that. I don't have a lid for that anymore. <laughs> I was looking for a lid. All right, guys, I'm going to put a half an ounce of lime juice, fresh lime juice, into my jigger, and then I'm going to pour that into there. Okay, that's what's going to happen next. Half an ounce of lime juice into our tin, and then we're going to get some ice into our little tin. Oh, I also, I like to do this while I'm mixing, because I don't have a way to keep my glasses. Guys, we're going to shake this up. It doesn't need to be, uh, like, a really intense shake. Just something to really, you know, just combine everything. Um, we won't need to go too long with it, basically. But we'll give it a good shake. That will probably do it right there. All right. Guys, we're going to strain this, <coughs> excuse me, into our Collins glass. I'm going to pour out... Nah, that should probably be okay. That should probably be enough ice. Then we're going to top this off with some ginger beer. Just like that. For the garnish... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut some of this candy ginger into like a little, a little nug. And then I'm gonna cut us a thin lime, a thin lime wheel. And that'll be our garnish. What I think we'll do, that's gonna have to go on the inside, just like that. There is the El Diablo. All right, guys, let's give the El Diablo a try. Cheers. Thank you guys for being here, man. This is awesome. It really means a lot. So cheers, you guys. Thank you. Oh, that's good. That is really good. Hey, my little candy ginger. I'm just going to leave that lime wheel in there. It is on the sweeter side, but I don't think it's a little, I don't think it's overly sweet. You can always scale that creme de cassis down a little bit. I really like it where it's at though. Kind of a sweeter drink, but that, that ginger beer on the top, you get that spice at the end, lengthens it a little bit. So it really helps like control the sweetness of it. Like it's a really good drink, dude. Shit. Yeah, dude. That, oh, it's cool. That's cool, man. Okay, that's cool. I like, <laughs> I like it. Hang on. You get like a little bit of the cassis like right up front with the lime and it tastes like fucking awesome. Like that's like, like that's your sweetness right there. But then it kind of goes into the tequila and you get that fucking, I don't mean, I don't know how to describe it well enough. It's like agave, but it's like aged agave. It, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's an easy drink right there. Holy shit. That's an easy drink. That's an easy to drink drink. <laughs> I like that. I like that the cassis with that tequila. That's really good. That works really well together. Like they don't cancel each other out. Like you can taste each one individually, but they they blend like in the middle as it's like changing. It's cool. It's a cool drink, dude. For not like, I don't know. It could have been like uh, published somewhere else, but for me, I just found it online. I was looking up fun tequila drinks to do for the episode of of stream drinks, and I landed on this one, and it is it's a 
It's a good one. It's a good one. You want something a little sweeter out there? This is a. This would also be a really good summer drink, with the with the addition of the ginger beer. That's really good. Time for another. Jane's not here, so I just have to drink all of them tonight. Sorry for you guys. <laughs> you gotta put up with that all night. Y'all, cheers to you again. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. It it means the world to me. Um, I really do appreciate you. This is awesome. This is fucking awesome. Cheers, guys. Thank you. I like that. I like that. Oh. We could expand on this. Hear me out, hear me out. Instead of the ginger beer, get rid of the ginger beer. We muddle. We muddle a serrano pepper and some fresh ginger together. Huh? Huh? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Muddle those bitches together. Do only a half an ounce of creme de cassis. Because you want that ginger, like, extract to come through, right? Still two ounces of that. And then, instead of ginger beer, you top it off with just soda water. I like that idea a lot. We might be revisiting the El Diablo one day. I guess you guys will just have to keep tuning in week after week after week after week after week after week, after week, after week, and see when that happens. The El Diablo drink is fantastic. Play with it, play with the uh, play with the ratios a lot. Um, I like the two ounces of tequila. I would not cut back on the tequila. I think two ounces is the way to go. But play with the cassis, play with the lime, kind of make it fit your style, um, and then just top that bitch off with some fucking ginger beer, dude. It's really good, really, really good. So, thank you. I'll meet you back over there. We'll play some uh, Death Counter 5000 and see where the night goes. I'm also going to grab a bite to eat. Definitely going to be finding a bite to eat. I'm going to interpret uh, interpretive dance on the way over there. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Peace out. This has been what we drink in. I'm going to go back over there and we'll continue being Wheezy C. So thank you guys. <laughs>